Hi boys and girls. We are going to be drawing Pigeon just like Mo Willems. And we're going to start by drawing his head. So we're going to practice with whiteboard markers. And then when we're done practicing, Mrs. Walker is going to give everybody a giant Sharpie. And we're going to draw just like Mo did. So I'm going to start by making Pigeon's head. So I'm going to make a big circle. And then I'm going to make his eye, which is a really big circle. And then depending on which direction you want him looking, if I want him looking up, I would put the dot looking up, right? If I want him looking forward, I would put the dot over here. I'm going to let him look up at the sky. And then I'm going to put a W here, right? So W, or it's like an M on its side. And then, what was that fun sound he made? Zoop, zoop, right, for the neck. He did two lines going across for his, um, his neck has kind of a little stripe on it. And then he did a special shape called a circ angle, right? He made up that word. So we're going to start to make a circle, and then halfway through we're going to make a triangle. There we go. Now I'm going to do a V laying on its side like this for his wing. Then two legs, one, two. And then he did another V, but he did it facing down like this. V. V, and that makes his toes, right? Once you have practiced drawing him, then you can think of other things that you might want yours to be doing. Maybe I want mine to be running, so I would probably make his legs going this way and this way like he's running away from someone, right? Or I could try making his eye facing forward. Maybe I like that, okay? Maybe I want him holding um, something in his, in his wing. So I might put his wing up here. And let's see, if I want it to be a pencil, I would have to draw a pencil in his hand, wouldn't I? Yeah. No, I don't know if I like it to be dark. I think I'm going to leave that hollow. So I could draw it like that, right? There, and an eraser. Could have him drawing, couldn't I? But I don't think I want him to run and draw, so I think I might make his feet be sitting down like this. Like he's sitting. Yeah. I could give him eyelashes. Maybe he's wide awake. Or maybe he's having a party. And I want to give him a birthday hat. Okay, you get to decide. So go ahead and practice drawing Pigeon on your whiteboard. And then, after we've had a chance to do that, Mrs. Walker is going to give everybody a giant Sharpie. And we are going to make Pigeon on some paper that we can paint, okay? Remember, once you've practiced, then we're all going to get our Sharpies out. Ooh, what do I need to put on the back of my paper? I hope you said name and class code. So there's my name. Class code is either going to be 1A or 1B, or maybe you're in 1C, and then circle it, okay? Then we're going to flip it over, and we're going to start by drawing his head, right? And I want it to be kind of big, so I don't want to make a really small head, because I want to be able to paint this, so I'm going to make kind of a big head, nice and round. And then I'm going to put his eye in there. And I think I want mine to be looking up high. I like that when he was looking up high. He was kind of looking at the sky. Then a W. Then I'm going to make his neck. Remember that sound? Zoop. Zoop. And then I'm going to do two lines going across. Then we have to make our circ angle, right? So we're going to start a circle. And then halfway through we're going to go like a triangle. And then I want to make a V laying on its side for his wing. I need to move this up a little bit so you can see. So for his legs, it's going to be straight line, straight line. And then, I think I might move down a little bit more. Then a V, so it ends up with three toes, right? If you do the V right over top of it, upside down V, it'll look like toe, toe, toe. Now it's up to you if you want to add any other details. I don't think I'm going to add anything to mine because I want to paint it. So I think it looks good the way it is. Be sure you put your lid on your on your marker nice and tight and bring those back to Mrs. Walker. Okay? We're going to wait for everybody to finish their drawing 
and then we will move on to painting.